Welcome to Embrace Your Spiritual Powers with I Am, your host, Shangela Pierce, a spiritual healer from Sedona, and her guides, I Am, are here to reacquaint you with the miraculous spiritual powers you were born with. You can manifest health physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Join us today as you begin a new journey of enlightenment. Here is Shangela. Welcome to Embrace Your Spiritual Powers with I Am. I am your host, Shangela Pierce. In today's episode, we are going to talk about trying to be perfect. Before we begin, let's talk about our spiritual guidance workbook. This spiritual guidance workbook is a step-by-step process to help you to embrace your spiritual powers and to get guidance from your source. Eventually, over time, you will no longer need the guidance in the workbook, but it is a framework for which you can use in the beginning of your journey, okay? If you're finding it hard to receive the answers that you want or even just confused about the structure, this is one structure that is presented and I find it to be very useful for my clients and I hope you do too. You can go to seekwithinyou.com slash store. Intentions. Let's take a moment and set our intentions for today's podcast. What is it that you would like to learn? What questions do you seek answers? Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Slowly inhaling and exhaling. Ask your question and let it go. Just know that the answer will come to you. Surrender to it. Now, the message from I am. Perfectionism. Trying to be perfect. Trying to have everything as your mind or your ego thinks it should be. Trying to control the situation. Feeling as if, if everything is not perfect, you are not growing. Imagining how things should play out. And if it does not, if it does not appear perfect in your eyes, then you resist. In many societies, in many families, we see this tendency towards perfectionism. We see this tendency towards trying to control the situation. We see this tendency because you are disconnected from your true essence. There is a misunderstanding that everything that happens, in a sense, is perfect. What you are experiencing is what you have made manifest, is what has been called forth. There is no such thing as the perfect job, the perfect mate, the perfect. It is just what it is. In our world, we do not Embrace the idea of of perfectionism. 
only in the sense that we can say that everything that you are experiencing is perfect, but that is a misnomer in itself. Everything that is happening to you is what you have called for. It is the beauty, the rhythm of the universe that radiates and brings you forth a vibrational match to who you are. That in itself is perfect. So we can say perfection, but we do not like to embrace that because it has a negative connotation to it. It has this energy of holding you back because you try to be perfect in everything that you do. And this is a symptom of controlling this perfectionism. This does not just this does not allow you to expand. It keeps you stuck. It causes you to restrict. Because instead of allowing the energy to flow, allowing the inspiration, allowing yourself to be guided, you spend time trying to perfect something because you feel like it has to be perfect in order for people to get it. It has to be perfect, whatever that perfect is in your mind. It has to be perfect in order for it to be successful. It must be this way in order for this to happen. That's the story that you're telling. And that's the story that keeps you in that vibration of not moving forward. It keeps the energy stagnant. It keeps you from expanding. Again, no such thing as perfect. It is as you have created it to be. So allow it to be. Trust that what you have manifest is what is appearing in front of you. You may not understand the steps. You may not know that this work of art that you've created is meant to be shared for this particular person or these particular people to see. But if you hold on to this perfectionism, you will not allow this and the beauty of it and the energy that flows through it to be expressed in that way. You will restrict this energy. And as such, you restrict your growth, your spiritual growth. This is not to say this in judgment. This is only to mean that we want you to allow We are giving you guidance so that you understand that perfectionism is holding you back. Laugh at whatever you create and just let it go. Let it be. Open your heart. Get out of your mind of what you think others are saying about you and how they are judging you based on what you present to them. Get out of your mind about that. Let that go. Allow others to think of you however they wish, however they desire. But you get into the flow of this creative universe, into the flow of what we're guiding you to create, into the flow of what you have created. Get into the flow and let it go. And don't think that if errors happen that it was a mistake because it it is not. It is what you have manifest. It is the beautiful energy of what you have manifest. It is, we shall say now, it is perfect in how it has been manifest. But perfect from the sense of the beautiful flow of energy of this universe, but not from the perfection, not from the perspective of being perfect. Please do know that we are here to guide you on your journey. We are helping you to explore the things in you that hold you back. The things in you that hold you back from healing. Yes, in healing your physical body, 
perfectionism can prevent you from that because you feel like, well, your body must be perfect in this way. Oh, you must do everything in your spiritual routine perfectly. You must meditate perfectly. Everything has to be perfectly in alignment in order for you to obtain your perfect health. What we are saying is for you to just continue on your journey step by step, moment by moment, forgiving yourself and loving yourself throughout this journey. No matter what is happening, it is quote unquote perfect in the sense of the beautiful alignment of the vibrational energy. It is perfect in that sense. Every day that you traverse this universe, every day that you continue to put your focus on who you want to become, you shall get there. Relax into it. Allow it to come into your reality. And again, forgive yourself for what you perceive to not be perfect, for what you perceive you have not done. Just continue. Let it go and continue on your journey. Do not constrict the energy due to your limited beliefs about what is happening. We encourage you, as always, to continue to listen to us so that you expand your level of consciousness. Continue to listen to us. Continue to listen to others who know that you are capable of more. Immerse yourself in this environment. Every moment that you do that, you expand your consciousness. You allow more into your reality. You let go of your ideas of perfectionism. You let go of judging yourself. You love yourself more. You forgive yourself more. Every time that you embrace this, you shift. You're shifting now. Continue in that. We should call that perfect. Because this is perfect in that sense. But let go of trying to control and have everything fit into a box for you. Let go of that. In peace and love, I am. Thank you, I am, for that lovely message. Perfectionism. I can definitely relate to that because that is something that I continue to work on in my journey because there is no quote-unquote such thing as being perfect other than looking at life as this is just the perfect journey. This is everything that's unfolding right now is perfection in itself. But that's a different feeling than the perfectionism that is based in control. The perfectionism that prevents you from moving forward because you feel like you have to do this, that, and this, quote unquote, perfectly in order for it to be, you know, the best representation of yourself. So you are, in essence, controlled by what you think others are going to think of you. So if I don't put out my best work, what are they going to think about me? You know, I need to portray this person who has, you know, the highest level of perfectionism, (laughs) who has the highest level of doing whatever you are doing. And so you hold yourself back because you don't allow the energy to flow. You don't allow the energy of expression, free expression, you know, where you were inspired and just let it flow and let it come out. And it doesn't matter what other people think. It really doesn't. 
It was an expression of you, regardless of whether or not they get it. Another thing about perfectionism, when you try to be perfect, practicing the law of attraction or whatever that may be, is that you don't allow for the fact that you are transitioning. You are transitioning into the next vibrational level. So let's say you're, you're, you're into the law of attraction, you're practicing it consciously every day, and then one day, you know, or even a couple of days or a week or whatever that may be, you feel different. You don't feel motivated. You feel stuck. You know, um, there's aches now, you know, where there weren't before, you know. Um, and then you're like, oh, um, you know, because you're in this perfect mentality, you're like, what in the world is happening? This is not how it should be. It should be, you know, in your mindset, it should be this way. It should be perfectly aligned. Like every every aspect of your life should be this perfect joy, this perfect gratitude, all of this. And when it's not, then things aren't going right, right? It's not perfect. And what you're not allowing for is that during those times, many times that's a shift. You're shifting, okay? You're shifting into that next vibrational level because you're you're <laughs> you're in actuality releasing things you're releasing so in that releasing you have to practice I say you have to continue with your spiritual practice so that you can move that energy and move to the next level I hope that makes sense to you it's basically you know, you're doing good, you're at a high vibration. Think about it, you're at a high vibration for, for a while, and then all of a sudden, bam, something happens, right? And then you're like, well, I was doing so well, what happened? Well, you're shaking up some lower vibrational energy and it's being released. And now you're feeling it. Now you have to get back into the groove, you know? You have to continue your what you've been doing, continue it, and you may need to even do it more as this energy is moving, as you're trying to move it more, you know, deep, breathe more deeply, right? Meditate for a little bit longer, you know, tell a different story. All of these, all of these things that you may just need to do more deeply in order to move this energy. And so this is going to allow you to shift to the next level. Now, if you're in this mindset of, you know, it's, everything has to be perfect, then you're, you're not allowing for that to happen. You're going to restrict and you're going to stay in that, in that zone. So as, as you, you know, you were in this high vibrational state and then this lower vibrational energy was, was being released. And if you don't allow it to flow, it's going to get stuck. And then you're not going to shift. You're going to stay in that, that state, right? You're going to keep restricting. Okay. And if you do it long enough, then this energy, it, it will just basically go back to where it was, right? And so you will not have released as much or any of it because you will have restricted yourself based on your thoughts, based on your thoughts of what, how everything should be unfolded, that, you know, everything should be, you know, you know uh, walking in a field of flowers laughing and joyful and all this with the sun shining. <laughs> and while that might seem great and perfect, <laughs> it doesn't play itself out like that, right? It's a continual journey of moving to the next level. And as you move to the next level, things shift. Now, it doesn't always, you know, sometimes there's a subtle shift that it really doesn't take that much out of you. But there are those really deep shifts that cause you to re really feel it, to restrict and, and start feeling that energy from the past that you've had buried. So again, allow for that to happen through the, really the opening of your mind to just that it is perfect in a sense that is the beauty of the universe, but not trying to control it in the sense of being a perfectionist.
I hope that makes sense, you know, because we're using the same word in two different ways. Perfect and perfectionism, right? So in this section, I give you tips and I have given you a lot of tips here about opening and allowing. One tip in particular that I wanted to touch upon is to write down your accomplishments. Write down all the things that you have done in a particular time period. So I love to do this at the end of the year, you know, to write down all my accomplishments that that I've done throughout the year. But you can do, you don't have to wait for a whole year. You know, you can do it every month. You can do it every quarter. You can do it whenever you like. But what this does is it helps you to see all the things that you have done for which you can be grateful for. You know, there's a tendency to look back and not realize that, you know, and this is in the eyes of the perfectionist, right? Um, This didn't happen this particular way. So you're spending too much time on that, but you're not really looking at what you actually have done. And if you make it a habit of doing this, you actually start seeing all of these wonderful things that you've accomplished, how much further you've come in this moment than you were again yesterday or last month or last year. Like you've come a long way. So acknowledge that. Give yourself that space to know that, okay? Another thing you can do is develop your new story, okay? So if the idea of what others think about you is what is causing your perfectionism, then in your new story, it could be, I allow others to think what they want about me, okay? Just as simple as that, that in itself can help to free you of the burden of thinking about what others are thinking about you, you know, of just letting that go, okay? If that is not, you know, one of your issues, if your perfectionism is rooted in something else, then address that in your new story, whatever that is for you. You can also put your focus on what it is that you like to accomplish. I allow myself to freely express. I allow for the free expression of my work. I trust that what I do is an expression from source. Okay, let that be your inspiration to change your story. And of course, your new story is something we recommend you do right before you go to bed or right when you wake up or right after you meditate. Those are three powerful times in which to invoke your new story. Assuming you are at that point in your journey where you are doing your new story. We do advocate that you embrace this new story and add it to your routine in the beginning. However, everyone is at different steps. So when you're ready for this, your new story, because it is very powerful in shifting who you are, when you're ready for it, embrace it, okay? And indulge in it, okay? Have fun with your new story. In the Spiritual Guidance Workbook, that is part of the structure that is given in there. You work and you develop that new story for your spiritual journey, okay? Because it's pivotal to to changing, to shifting your mindset, to helping you to surrender and to allow, okay? A very pivotal part, all right? 
So again, just go to our online store, secretwithinyou.com slash store for that. Thank you again for joining me for another episode of Embrace Your Spiritual Powers with I Am. I do hope that your question was answered and you received the guidance that you desired. If you would like to sign up for our newsletter, you can sign up at seekwithinyou.com slash insights with an S. And we share more deeply the teachings of I Am and how to embrace your spiritual power to manifest health. I hope you join us next week for another episode. In peace and love. Namaste. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed receiving your messages for your spiritual healing. Join us next week for more amazing information that will help you manifest health beyond your wildest dreams. For more inspiration and guidance from I Am, please visit www.seekwithinyou.com.